All right. Hey there. How about we dive in with another reading from The Secret Language of Birthdays book by Gary Goldschneider and Eust Elfers. For June 1st, the day of the popular eye. That's right. And the book shows us a picture of a garden trowel with a straw hat and a spoon. Well, I'm not quite sure what's popular eye about that, but maybe we will find out together all right hey uh is it june 1st and it's your birthday today well if it is i just want to say happy birthday i hope this uh finds you on the day but if it doesn't well i hope you had a happy birthday um and for everyone else who's just joining us out of curiosity i just want to say welcome and hope you enjoy yourself but let's dive in shall we your month is june your day one uh your sign is 10 to 12 degrees gemini of the gemini one period and your quality in elements is mutable air June 1st, the day of the popular eye. June 1st people can usually be found either in the public eye or observing the latest modes and trends of society. Either way, either way rather, they are taken up with seeing or being seen in a social context. Those born on this day may display an interest in history, but usually for how it sheds light on the present. Indeed, they bring all their powers to bear on what is most up-to-date, uh, dressing, talking, reading, and studying the state of art in various fields. This does not mean that June 1 people are overly social beings. They may appear extroverted, in rare cases exhibitionistic, but such an external attitude often masks a personality that is isolated and lonely. Therefore, it is difficult for anyone to really know these unusual people well. Although many may think they do, the June 1 people are masters at hiding not only their feelings, but their deeds as well. Few indeed are admitted to the inner sanctum of the June 1 person's world. Both men and women on this day are rarely without a mate because they hate to be alone. To avoid loneliness, some June 1 people throw themselves into social activities and amass a whole bevy of friends and acquaintances. Rarely will June 1 people admit to ignorance. They pride themselves on knowing a good deal about a wide variety of subjects, and although their specialized knowledge may not run that terribly deep. In the area that they are most obsessed with, however, they go to great lengths to amass an impressive body of information. The subject of this study need not be academic. It could range from sports figures to comic books, for example. June 1 people have a facility with languages and an aptitude for tasks requiring manual dexterity. And those born on this day also know something of people and their needs and wants. This makes them excellent salespeople, for they have an eye that sizes up prospective clients in an instant. And June 1 people would make excellent detectives if only they had the stamina and patience to stand the boredom and waited in the waiting demanded by the arduous profession. Improving their powers of concentration, which are not the most developed, and cultivating a capacity to amuse themselves without turning to external stimuli are crucial to their personal growth. Since those born in the state have a feeling for the value of things, they also make excellent shoppers and, in general, are shrewd at handling money. However, because of their great appreciation for the products of others and the accompanying talent for imitation. They often have a great difficulty realizing their creative potential. Trusting in their own individuality is essential to their development. And without it, even a more imitative creativity begins to atrophy. June 1 people must find the courage at some point in their lives to dig deep within themselves. And when they find out who they really are and what it is they want... They may have no choice but to pursue their dreams, regardless of what society, parents, or friends think. All right, let's dive into those born in this day. But don't click away too quickly. You know, you just uh, advance in the chapters if you want to get on to the numbers and planets and tarot. But I find it important to dive in on those born in this day and see what company our birthday boys and girls are in. We start off strong with Marilyn Monroe, who was a film actress, icon, for Some Like It Hot, The Misfits, and she married Joe DiMaggio and Arthur Miller and died at the age of 
1236. We have Brigham Young, who was a Mormon leader, visionary, and led the Exodus west to found Salt Lake City and had 17 wives and 56 children. The day of the propagator, right? We got Morgan Freeman, stage film actor. Jonathan Price is a British stage TV film actor. Reverend Ike, who was an evangelist. Colleen McCullo, uh, Australian novelist of the Thornbirds fame. Uh, we have Norman Foster, a British architect. And Pat Boone, who was a singer. We have Nelson Riddle, a band leader and arranger. Andy Griffith, a TV actor of Matlock and the Andy Griffith Show. J uh, John Macefield, uh, was a British poet laureate. Mikhail Glinka, a Russian composer. Uh, uh, Sjalman Goldberg, violinist, chamber conductor. I'm sure I butchered that name. We also have Ido de Wart, a Dutch conductor, oboist. Molly Picon, a Yiddish stage entertainer. Friederike von Stade, operatic concert soprano. Cleavon Little, a film actor. We have Lenny Niehaus, a jazz alto saxophonist and film composer, arranger. Uh, Le Pantomane, French novel entertainer, famous for stimulating musical tones and sounds through the release of flatulence, believe it or not. Marielle Johnstone, a French food writer, BBC TV personality. All right, your numbers and your planets. Those born in the first of the month are ruled by the number one and by the sun. People born on the first like to be first, and those ruled by the number one are typically individual, highly opinionated, and eager to rise to the top. June 1 people must therefore strive for success at some point in their lives, and through, though for long periods of time, they may be satisfied with the status quo. Many born on this day lead a mercurial life, as Mercury rules Gemini, and moving from one pursuit to another. And the sun symbolizes strong creative energy and fire, which is best kept flowing steadily rather than allowed to sporadically flare out of control. All right, here is your tarot. The first card of the Major Arcana is the Magician, who symbolizes intellect, communication, information, as well as magic. Over his head is an infinity symbol, which in some tarot decks take the form of a hat, and in others, a halo. Many interpretations may be drawn, one of which is that the magician recognizes the cyclical and unending nature of life and is empowered by this understanding. The positive traits suggest, uh, suggested rather by this first card include diplomatic skill and shrewdness, but negatively, lack of scruples and opportunism. The choice rests with the June 1 person whether to embrace superficiality and illusion or pursue more profound goals and here is your health those born on june 1 may have unusual ideas about illness and disease but mostly just ignore what is wrong with them they have a firm belief in the ability of their bodies to heal themselves and a general mistrust of doctors where mental health is concerned a good counselor or psychologist could be of great help to them in their process of self-realization but more likely than not, they will avoid such treatment, believing, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. As far as diet is concerned, those born in the state can be very picky about their food. Blessed with good appetites, they should avoid the fads and limited diets to which they may be drawn and enjoy a diverse menu. Here's your advice. Try to forget society's values for a while and what is expected of you. Have the courage to be yourself at a deep level and like yourself for what you are. Discover your strengths and exercise them in spite of opposition. Self-worth supersedes all else. Here is your meditation. Living is a creative act. Here's your strengths and your weaknesses. Your strengths, you are visually perceptive. You are shrewd, you are fun. Your weaknesses, you're temperamental, distracted, and impatient. Your season is spring, your sign again is Gemini of the Gemini 1 period, and your quality and elements is mutable air. And this has been June 1st, the day 
of the popular eye from the secret language of birthdays by gary goldschneider and eust elfers over a million copies sold for a reason as i like to say and as it is advertised on the book there on the cover uh i got it i got an affiliate link down in the description for you if you're interested in buying this thing it's got a heck of a lot more than just the birthday readings and so it makes a great coffee table book and um, an amazing uh, conversation starter icebreaker at parties or with visitors that you just have over randomly. But in any event, hey, if it was your birthday today, I just want to say happy birthday. And for everyone else who joined us out of curiosity, I hope you enjoyed yourselves and you come back for your birthday reading. All right, you take care of yourselves.